Been a long time coming for an area high school football team. 16 months after their football field was vandalized, they're now playing on their home turf for the first time this season. And local fires, Robin O'Gagne was there as the Foxes were able to break in that new field, and she's live with us now in the studio with the story. Robin? Tom, Aaron, we talked to Fox Valley Lutheran last year when the team had to practice on their baseball field, and they couldn't play any home games. This year, not only do they have a new coach, the team has a new improved turf to take on competitors. It's a sign that Friday night football is back. The chill in the air, the freshly painted yard lines, but it's a different feeling when you haven't been there for nearly a year and a half. The goal was always welcome home, and that's what we hope to, to bring home tonight to our fans who are coming and, and, and to our team. It's, it's just amazing homecoming where we actually get to play true home games on our own field. And that's been pretty special. Last spring, Fox Valley Lutheran's football and soccer field was vandalized. The weather then hampered the repair process, and getting things up and running for this year wasn't much different. We had such a wet fall, cold winter, wet spring into summer, and when you're laying things like sod and doing grass on multiple fields, it takes a lot of time, and they want to do it right the first time. So we were very thankful we were able to get it in just in time. The team had been practicing on the school's baseball field and played their home games elsewhere, a blow to last year's seniors. That was a challenge for some, I think, in the past year uh, when we didn't have home field. Uh, but one, I think, even last year, if you look at the record and, and how well they did, something that they were able to rise above. And this year, again, what a special occasion. But the Fox Valley community did step up and let FVL use their field for home games. But now they're more than happy to be home. Very thankful to schools like Kakana for allowing us to be able to play our home games there last year. Uh, but this year now being back on our home turf, being back in front of our crowd, uh, truly to be able to play a home game, uh, there, there's not much like it. You, you can't replace that feeling. So we're, we're glad to be back. The Vandals have not been found. There's a $10,000 reward for information that could lead to an arrest. Any lead should be directed to the Appleton Police Department. In the studio, Robin Oginye, Local 5 News.